Hello and welcome back to my guide to Finnish science fiction and fantasy. My name is Maya and in this episode we will be talking about Hannu Rajaniemi and his Jean Le Flambeur or the Quantum Thief trilogy. Hannu is a Finnish mathematician who currently lives in Edinburgh. He has a PhD in mathematical physics from the University of Edinburgh and it sure shows in his writing. First let's learn how to pronounce the author's name. One thing to remember in Finnish is to always pronounce all the vowels separately. I know this may be a little bit tricky for English speakers, but at least they are always pronounced the same way, no matter where they are in a word. Hannu has a long N sound in the middle, so it might help you to picture it as two separate words. Han, a bit like in Han Solo, and Nu. I couldn't come up with an English word with that exact same sound, but it's a bit like in the word noon, but with a shorter sound. Together they are Hannu. With the surname, I have to first tell you that the Finnish J behaves a lot like the English Y, so it's Rajaniemi, not Rajaniemi. Ra is like the Egyptian god Ra, but with a shorter sound. Ya, like... I'm really sorry I have to do this. How ya doing? Nie might be a sound that's tricky for you, but it's quite a lot like the English word near, but with the R sound taking off. Nie. And then the end is me, like in Mickey. If the nie by itself is very difficult for you, you might try to pair it up with the m to come and think of it as niem, and then just add the e sound at the end, if that's any more helpful. So put together that is ra ja nie mi raja nie mi, or with the English r sound raja nie mi. And that's how you pronounce hannu raja nie mi. Raja means border and nie mi means cape, not the garment but like the coastal landform, so raja nie mi means border cape. Let's move on to talk about the book. The Jean Le Flambeur trilogy consists of The Quantum Thief, The Fractal Prince, which I'm holding here, and The Causal Angel. The trilogy is published in the UK by Golange and in the US by Tor. The first book in this trilogy, The Quantum Thief, was Hannu's first novel. It was nominated for the 2011 Locus Award for Best First Novel. Rajaniemi wrote all his books first in English and then they were later translated to Finnish. Rajaniemi could have translated them himself, but he just didn't have the time, so they are translated to Finnish by a separate person. The first book's title in Finnish is Kvanttivaras, which means exactly the same thing as the English title. This is a hard science fiction trilogy about a gentleman thief called Jean Le Flambeur, who at the beginning of the series is broken out of prison by a woman named Mieli to help her complete the task that her employer has given her. The series is a mix of heist plots and great science fiction ideas, such as one culture using time as currency. The books are entertaining, the characters are interesting and fun to follow, and the writing is a pleasure to read. With that said, there is an added difficult level to writing, which I'm now trying to explain to you. Imagine if you were dropped into a country where you almost understand the language, but not quite completely. Some words are just gibberish to you. You have no idea what people mean when they make a party mention of a faber or a jevelet. Most of these terms are never explained to you, but slowly, slowly you see the pattern emerging and start to make out their meaning from context. This is what reading The Quantum Thief is like. Rajaniemi's characters mention things in passing, things that they don't explain at all because they are everyday to them. Meanwhile, the reader just learns to read on and slowly decipher the meaning from the context. I have to say that I first found this learning while reading confusing, but then I began to really enjoy it. So while there are those entertaining high spots and great characters that make the trilogy really easy to read, the extreme show don't tell and the physics and the mathematics make it a more challenging read. There are a lot of Finnish words used in this trilogy, because one of the main characters' culture is based on Finland. Next I'm going to tell you how to pronounce some of the words that Rajaniemi uses when it comes to Mieli and her culture. One of the main characters is Mieli, which is the Finnish word for mind. Her spaceship, Perhonen, which means butterfly. Her home, clan of sorts, Hiljainen koto, silent home. Koto is an archaic word for home in Finnish. Mieli is the daughter of Karhu, which means bear. Her lost love is Sudan, or heart. Then there's Sudan's home clan, Kirkkaat Kutoyat, bright weavers. Then of course the sauna is mentioned, which in Finnish is pronounced sauna. There are also references to some old Finnish deities, at least Kuutar and Ilmatar. Tar is a female suffix, so those names pretty much mean Lady Moon and Lady Air. Hannu Rajaniemi also has a short story collection out called Simply Collected Fiction. It was published in limited edition by Tachyon Publishing in 2015, so it might be quite hard to find. Your best bet might be the library. I just got this from the library myself and haven't yet read it, so let me know if you want to learn how to say the Finnish names he uses in this book, and I'll make a separate video out of it. So that is the end of my video on Hannu Rajaniemi. If you have any wishes on Finnish authors or words that you want to know about, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I'll see you later.